Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising. Weekly Tarot reading for August 26th to September 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we're gonna jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the Knight of Swords followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. This is going to be the Ace of Swords. Afterwards what we do have it is the positive aspect of the week here that is going to be the Nine of Wands. And then the last one is going to be the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. We do have the Page of Pentacles. So uh, you will have to deal with a specific individual throughout the week. That is going to be the most important thing in there. So uh, that individual itself, it will be very... Oh, it's going to look like very reckless, okay? But before we get, we get into it, um, let's run the cards one more time. So um, Knight of Swords is going to be the uh, main topic here, which is the individual that you will have to deal with. Then we do have the Ace of Swords, that it is the challenge that you need to overcome here, followed by the Nine of Wands, which is the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one, it is the Page of Pentacles, which stands for the Guidance. Okay, so as this follow-up with these four cards, it does look like that uh, the this Knight of Swords is going to tease you with something, all right? And uh, teasing you in a sense of that, you know, you would you would want to kind of like um, give your attention into it. You know, let's say they tease you with a traveling or they tease you with a specific opportunity. It doesn't really matter. But the thing is that, um, how can I place it? I, it will seem a big endeavor to you. That, that will be the whole problem with that situation. And uh, that's why you may find it a bit difficult to initiate into this uh, into this teaser or rather like into this uh, into this proposal it's because it's going to require by your book a, a lot of investment you know for this night it doesn't look like it that way but for you it's going to require a lot of investments and let's give you an, an example of it it's like let's say that this one it's a um, a spoiled boy all right or a spoiled person who relies on the money of the of its uh, father and its mother, all right, and etc. etc. And they likes you, so they buy a, a, a vacation for both of you. But in the same time, you are working and you are busting your ass. By the way, you know, providing for yourself, for your family, let's say. And while for this person, it's is they waste nothing, you know, going into this vac vacation. You waste a, a, a an important time. And also you jeopardize as well your career. That is just an example. So uh, how, you know, that proposition for this man here or a woman for that matter, it, it will cost nothing, you know, and it's something completely ordinary and usual while for you it's a bit risky to take. 
The accompanied card is going to be the Six of Pentacles, the formation. It is a active uh, neutrals, uh, uh, excuse me, active enemies that we do have. So whatever this person tells you, they really, really mean it. I mean, they, well, by the way, these cards are pointing that this man here, or rather like this um, Knight of Swords, it's determined to make difference in your life and to improve your life in a certain state. And especially if you are struggling right now and it feels like you are swimming against the current. Now this, this man or woman, you know, this person, Knights of Swords, is determined to um, fix that for you, okay? But just the, the, the way that they want to fix it, it's not exactly the way. So maybe they see you um, too, over, too overburdened, too stressed by your career. So they decide, okay, so I'm going to give this, um, gift you, Sagittarius, a holiday, you know, a holiday break. Man, this isn't the time that you want to get a holiday break because you got to work, you know, or maybe you do have another errands to run, you know, or another chores to uh to sort out and etc etc the knight is not unreasonable yes reckless but not unreasonable very intelligent person so um when, when you see that person trying to make your life easier you know while they're doing it with the wrong in the wrong way uh talk with them okay just just talk with them they are going to understand so the next one is going to be the challenges that you need to face. That is the Ace of Swords and the challenges are two. The first one, it is taking advantage of this proposal opportunity, you know, or just helping hand or whatever, because it's going to require a bit of a gambling and, um, a, and a heroic approach toward it. Heroic in a sense of, you know, because a lot, is, a lot will be in stake. And the other challenge is to divulge the this information what you are comfortable and what you are uncomfortable with you know with the person uh, that is marked by the ace by the knight of swords the accompanied card here man it is the ten of swords so we do have a active supporters and now this amplifies hugely on the uh, or gar in a gargantuan fashion upon the um the threshold you 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 have to trespass should you decide to go with the proposal or a helping hand or whatever with this preposterous ideas or rather like preposterous pop propositions that the uh, knight of swords is giving to you while they are very pure and sincere you know and they are meant to make your life easier they are ridiculous okay it's just it's just ridiculous they just don't don't have uh, they don't they don't, they can't coexist with your current stage of life okay and that is another testament here that should you go with the original proposition or a helping hand of this person which sincerely wants to make a difference in your life you are going to lose a lot all right you are going to lose a lot let's say you go to a holiday with them probably you're not going to find your place at work any longer to be yours and etc etc so you have to be very careful while it's very tempting and you really you really need that you know this isn't the way how you should do it so the next one is going to be the positive aspect of uh, the week and this is your patience all right nine of wands your patience and uh, as well your determination to get your things together get your uh, get your things through although it's very tempting to just you know leave everything aside and go enjoy yourself with the knight of uh, with the knight of swords the accompanied card is going to be the fa the four of cups the formation it is the active enemies that we do have so while you do see that there is a um how do you say it in English? Uh, there is, an, an, I would say, endeavor that uh, is going to make your life more exhilarating, you know, and it's going to recharge you with, with energies, let's say that way. <clears throat> You're also going to um, under, understand and recognize that it's not solving any issues of yours. At the end of the day, it's only going to, it, it is only going, it, it is only making, excuse me, your material issues even worse, okay? So uh, that itself, this, this realization itself, Sagittarius, is going to push you to um, be even more 
aggressive and tenacious into um, finalizing your ongoing endeavors. So when you are done, you can start experiencing these good, um, good enterprises or exhilarating enterprises with the Knight of Swords. And the last one, <clears throat> it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. And this is going to be the page of Pent uh, the Ace of Pentacles, excuse me. So Ace of Pentacles here tells you that you should not accept nor deny the proposal of the uh, of the Knight of Swords. You need to kind of like keep this person content to be around you while in the same time focus on what is substantial. You need to have that... Um, ability to maintain the harmonious flow in this relationship that you do have with this person while in the same time you maintain your success into the business very very important but also uh, this card here is a testament that the um, knight of swords appears to be a, a very good opportunity for you to further your goals and the last one it is the um, eight of wands which is the um, passive neutrals to the Ace of Pentacles. So uh, your, let's say your happiness and your success with these two cards does not reside upon a um, impulsive undertakings and impulsive enterprises. I know that many people like it, you know, um, that's just go with it and whatever happens happens and you get surprised pleasantly so you have you find it impossible to resist you get with it and suddenly you realize that that actually makes your situation worse right so these kind of impulsive uh, enterprises i'm talking about your uh, happiness and success here with these two cards at least in the near future sagittarius resides into consistency right and into systematic approach moving forward with your business and with your relationships. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 26th to uh, September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.